First pitch is grounded over third. Diving stop by Culberson. Gets up, throws. And he got him with a huge stretch by low out toward right field. A dazzling play on both corners to attire Higashioka. Culberson diving toward the line, scrambling to his feet, making a strong throw slightly offline, and Nate Lowe reaching way out toward right, kept his foot on the bag and hauled it in. I've got exclamation points at both ends of that play. Now it's high in the air. Oh, Ahmed's got a hurry. Barehanded play oh, by Nick. Oh, got it at first, Nick Ahmed. Well, even if you got a couple of gold gloves on the mantle, sometimes you don't need a glove. Oh, that is the only way he could possibly make that play with the speed of Lewis Brinson coming out of the box. Oh, bare hand throw all in one motion. And Fairchild, the out call at first. Here's a close look. They're going to put the headsets on. He's Ooh, out at first. Second. Nick Ahmed. Two down in the fifth. Extra base hit here. May indeed win the game. And that's in the air, out to right field. Tucker is back to the wall. Gone! El Bombe! How about it, big fella? A three-run homer, and the Rangers walk it off in the 10th inning. The great Bombino comes through again. This ball hammered deep center field. Way back, got a chance, ball game over. Trevor Story time. Story has won it on a walk-off blast. Third career walk-off home run for Trevor. His first home run in 70 at-bats. I'd say it took long enough, but it came at the right time. Story time. On a Sunday, first sweep, three-game sweep for the Rockies in 2021. What a perfect end to the weekend. And out away from putting this one in the books. In the air, deep to right field. Paven Smith back it up near the wall. Paven has got it! And the Diamondbacks win the ball game. Paven Smith takes a home run away. And it's a 5-2 D-backs win. What a way to win that one. Oh, put a bow on it, just like Steve Gilbert's new car. Outstanding play by Paven Smith up against the wall. Big win for the Diamondbacks tonight. <laughs> Everyone's driving around with a ribbon tonight. Paven Smith at the wall, leaps up. He's got Varsha in front of him, and he takes it away. Let the tall guy have it. That's right. It's good strategy right there. <laughs> Toward the middle, Lindor with a great diving stop, and they get the out at second. Oh, wow. First the full extension dive and then the glow flip on a hop to Peraza and they get the force play on Rodgers. That was spectacular. Well there is a fastball at 97 and it's lifted to right field. Dahl is back leaps and he makes the catch. David Dahl tremendous wow. catch up against the wall and Garcia goes back to first base and Dahl all smiles after fighting off some Houston Astros fans and pulling that one back in. Well, McCormick did make the adjustment. He hit the fastball a ton, but Dahl was on it right from the start. Got a great jump on it. Goes up into the stands and wow, does a backward somersault. We didn't quite know if he had the baseball or not, but look at that elevation. He saved a hit and a run, maybe two. Diving stop, Horner throws to first. He got him. Fantastic play by Nico Horner. That ball had base hit written all over it. Nico with a fabulous diving stop from shallow right field. Gets up and throws to first to get him. The Phillies have their leadoff man on. Payoff pitch coming up to Herrera. Ground ball back to the mound. Backhand stop by Masik to second for one to first for two. And that really just happened. How did he catch that? Masik, without looking at the baseball, just stuck the glove up behind his head and gloved it. Started the double play. A gold glove play for the Braves all around the horn. Oh, my. I mean, he just flagged that down behind his back. <laughs> And then the poise, step and throw, perfect strike to Swanson. 
We shouldn't take that play for granted. We've seen that ball thrown to center field many times. Swung on, hit in the air to right again on the run. Frazier makes a diving catch. I didn't think he had a chance. And he took a full dive and got it in the webbing of his glove. It's a heck of a play by Frazier. A full flat out dive toward the foul line. And the diving play by Clint Frazier, and he took an extra base hit away from Mancini to the delight of Peralta. Now Mitch Hanniger, 262 start to the year for Hanniger, but 13 home runs, and he ties into that one pretty well. Garcia back through the wall, gets in position, leaps, and did he get it? He did! Adolis Garcia takes another one away, and there are two outs in the inning. What can't he do? And the thing about it is we talk about the personality and how he is built for the big moment. We have a tendency to focus on the offense. So what about the defense getting up over the wall, taking one back and away from Mitch Hanniger from the Dolis Garcia in the first inning already in the middle of the action of this game. And importantly, saving what appeared to be two beers. <laughs> Two to Peraza, shot past Hoskins. That ball ate him up. VR to third. VR oh. headed home. We are tied. And the birthday boy with the oh. slide. Oh, man. Oh, boy, is that a regrettable run for the Phillies. And Jonathan VR with some superbly alert base running, able to run home and steal a run for the Mets to tie this game. High drive at the center field. JBJ at the wall, and he makes the catch! Oh, what a play! Jackie Bradley Jr. takes a home run away from Ozzy Albies. It's like he jumped up against the wall and just hung there for a while, didn't it? And able to make the catch. Oh, what a play by JBJ. He had it measured the whole way. He Perfectly timed his leap and took away a homer. Man. Beautiful play. Check it out. Yeah, he grabbed the top of the wall to keep himself in the air a little bit longer. Dug his spike into the wall. It's like he just levitated for a moment and hung there. Yeah, like a superhero. For all that Ronald has done in the big leagues, he has yet to hit a walk-off home run. So no time like the present. Kid, get after it. High fly ball, center field deep, and the track, and the wall, it's gone! Ronald Acuna just sent a shockwave through the ballpark, and the Braves walk it off at Truist Park. Partner, you never forget your first one, and Ronald Acuna Jr. hits one into the Atlanta bullpen. First pitch to Rendon, he swings and he slammed it to left center field. Back on it is Laureano at the wall, jumps at the wall, he's got it! Laureano pulls it back and saves the day! Rendon with a blast to left center, it was out of the ballpark until Laureano brought it back. Memories continue for Laureano at Angel Stadium. Laureano leaps and he caught it! He caught it! A game saver by Laureano as he takes a two run homer away from Anthony Rendon. A simple force at second base of Marmoleos. The put out goes 4 6. There are two outs in the ninth inning. Spencer Turnbull is chasing history here in Seattle. You want to know, no? Beat their best right now. He's done it! Spencer Turnbull throws. <laughs> The eighth no-hitter in Tigers history. Spencer Turnbull has become the sixth Tiger pitcher to throw the eighth no-hitter in franchise history. His teammates burst out of the dugout and mob him at the mound. How about it? And this one is caught by Talkman. He robbed him. Albert Pujols came that close, and he may just be finding out right now that that was not a home run. Mike Talkman 
keeps the Giants alive in this one. Well, Austin Barnes stuns the Giants, and Mike Tockman just stuns the Dodgers. I mean, complete extension and pockets it right in the sweet spot. Wow. Pools thought he had it. The Dodgers thought he had it. The fans thought he had it. Everybody thought he had it, and Mike Talkman took one away. A leaping catch at the wall, and I do believe he robbed him. He pulled that one back. What a catch by Mike Talkman. Riding up to home plate, 21-year-old outfielder Jared Keldick for the very first time in the big leagues, wearing number 10 on his back. He's making his major league debut tonight. And he swings at the first pitch. Right field near the line, Josh Naylor running out of room. Oh my goodness, what a play by Naylor as he hung on. Yes, he did. And it was upended into the seats. And Kelnick is retired on the first big league pitch that he sees. I'll tell you what, this is a tremendous play. I mean, you're, you're close. A lot of times you quit and give up. And he made the catch, falling into the stands and foul ground. Josh Naylor with a circus catch. I mean, how impressive is that? More offense. Oh, what a play by Kim! Wow. Talking about leaving your feet. It looked like he was suspended in midair for like four seconds. Fully extended, makes the catch. What a play by Kim. That was one of the all-timers. Unbelievable reactions and airborne and parallel to the ground. Man, the ball was behind him when he caught it. That was spectacular. I mean, it's amazing how high he was up into the air when he caught it. He was like suspended in air. It was, that was a dazzling play. Ground ball. Farmer. Wizardry from Wade Miley, a no-hitter in baseball history. A country man from Louisiana, an avid hunter, a man of few words. He let his pitching do the talking tonight. The 17th no-hitter in Reds history, and the first for the veteran left-hander. What a night here in Cleveland. Fly ball, center field. Lewis going back, look it up. This is still Slam Diego, and this is Fernando Tatis Jr.'s world. A grand slam puts the Padres on top, eight to one. Second home run of the day for Nando. You think he's feeling it? A little bit. He's putting on a show. Just heard the chant MVP, and we're in the month of May. Unbelievable. Gotta leave the swag chain on, just, just keep it on. Now spin it, spin it. Two flyouts for Crawford in the game. The wind first pitch. A swing and a line drive. It is caught by the shortstop Barrios. And John Meads has done it in Seattle. He has thrown a no-hitter as the Orioles take down the Mariners six to nothing. John Meads joins the elite ranks of Orioles pitchers who have thrown a no-hitter. It is the first individual no-hitter since Jim Palmer in 1969. The first overall no-hitter since 1991 in Oakland. And today, a day that John Means will never forget. Cinco de Mayo, a no-hitter for Means as the Orioles come rushing out of the dugout, out of the bullpen, hugs all around. Means has done it. He has thrown a no-hitter against the Seattle Mariners. And there are two outs. And Corey Kluber is one out away. And here is left-hand hitting Willie Calhoun, the last player to stand between Corey Kluber and a no-hitter. Ground ball to Glaber Torres, and that'll do it. A no-hitter for Corey Kluber. On a Wednesday night in Texas, Kluber becomes part of forever. Corey Kluber has pitched a no-hitter. Corey Kluber came within one man of a perfect game. He pitches a no-hitter, and the Yankees are delirious on the field, celebrating with Corey Kluber in the middle. What he tried to do to get here, the injuries, and it, it didn't look maybe it wasn't going to work. This is a remarkable story, and we're only in May. Fernando lifts it in the air, foul ground, first base, Wade Jones by the seats, and he can't make the catch. 
And Fernando will get another chance. Tying run of the plate for the Padres. And a 1-1 to Fernando. Fernando hits one in the air down the left field line and is headed towards the pole. It is headed onto the tracks. It's a three-run home run. History in Houston for Fernando Tatis Jr. With two outs in the ninth, the Padres have tied it up six to six. Unbelievable. You just sensed it, especially with the mistake to Jones. Gets another opportunity. Wow, this team's relentless. Baez hits it on the ground to third, Gonzalez. This is so good. <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow, you gotta be kidding me! You've gotta be they kidding me! They stole a run! You have gotta be kidding me! Javi Baez! Keep going! Go! Go! Think you're invisible! El Mago indeed. The Cubs have scored an unbelievable run on a play by Baez. He ran to first. The ball was in the dirt. They had to either tag him or tag the bag. The first baseman, Craig, just started chasing Baez back toward the plate. Meanwhile, the runner from second, Wilson Contreras, rounded third and headed for the plate and he scores i can't believe that yeah what is will craig thinking about here just take the ball to first base back pedal to first base that was just incredible <laughs> i don't know that i've ever seen a first base coach wave a guy down the first base who hadn't like gotten there yet comedy of errors on the part of the pirates here just great heads up baseball and, and Baez not quitting on the play